Yo avancé, pero solo tres videos y hello, vi nada más. Hello, hello. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? <laughs> aquí, aquí estoy, guys. Estoy en la oscuridad, así que aquí voy a estar. <laughs> oh, ya, mañana voy a ver si mejoro la luz, así que paciencia, por favor. No crean que no estoy acá. I'm right here. I'm, can you see me? Can you see no. me? <laughs> Welcome to the darkness. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Welcome to the dark. Welcome to the darkness. Da -da 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 All right. Welcome, guys. Tomorrow, I promise I will have more light. But today, please bear with me. Okay. Welcome, guys, to your English class. How are you today? How do you feel? I'm fine, thanks. Are you ready for your English class, everybody? I'm ready. Okay. What information do you remember about yesterday's class? Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? Always camera on. Always camera on, very good. What else? What else? Uh, microphone off. Microphone off. What else? Uh, uh, hand up when I want to talk. Excellent. Hands up when you want to talk. And what else? Uh, the question mm -hmm. for information, the... Um, um, information the personal okay for example what information personal uh, for example um, uh, do you like to cook do you like basketball how are uh, who you live alone who old are you mm -hmm. Correct. So um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about the class that we received yesterday? Do you have any questions about vocabulary? Do you have any questions referring to the, uh, the, uh, the activity that we did as far as the speaking section? Do you have any beds? Where do you live? What do you do? Uh, do you have any questions about this information? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre la información que vimos a, a, ayer? No. Okay. Now, so today we are going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the platform. It's very important that we advance with uh, Inglés Intermedio Módulo 1. So I would like for everybody to please go to the platform and we're going to look at a time to remember. Lesson one, past tense. So the objective of this activity is for us to review and to study the simple past. So for this activity, I would like for us to look at the, I'm going to share my screen and it, I'm going to read to you the, the instruct, the objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was and were and various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. At this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this vocabulary? Do you have any questions referring to this vocabulary?
No, I don't. No? Nobody. Anybody? Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Somebody? No? Oh, okay. Delia, raise your hand. Tell me, Delia. Um, uh, addition, additionally, you will be a uh, the abbreviated. Additionally? Uh huh. You'll you, be, oh, you, okay. I understand. You. Yes. Uh -huh. When I say when I say you'll, I'm referring to you will. Ah, uh, okay. That's the abbreviation for you'll. It means you will, uh, referring to the future. Bas uh -huh. ah, you will. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your okay, question. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Somebody else? Does anybody else have a question referring to this information? Yes. Uh, I see that. Let me see. Who raised your hand? Okay, Lenny. Tell me, Lenny. What is your question? Um, about this. Uh, yes. Regular and regular verbs. That e h e g. What's mean that? Uh, regular and irregular verbs, e-g, this section right here, e-g, yes. yes, e-g means for example, Excellent. for example, oh, okay, so when we Thank say e-g, we are talking about for example, mm -hmm. okay, yes, now we're going to go ahead and move forward, and I would like for us to look at past tense the past tense please uh, i would like for everybody to have in your hands a notebook okay i want you to have a notebook and a pen in your hands a notebook and a pen in your hands because it's important that when you are listening to the video that you are writing down questions and taking notes so that when we finish the video, I can give you feedback and help you with any questions that you may have. Listen to the video, please. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past for example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're gonna try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're gonna focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, is slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by 
a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I will be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't. Okay. And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay. So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH word, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question.
the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Okay, guys. Now, what I would like for you to do is we are going to be working with the next activity. We're going to be looking at the knowledge check 1.2. Choose the best response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? No, she didn't. Played soccer in high school. She played basketball. basketball? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. No, she soccer didn't play in high school. She played basketball. What is the correct answer? A, B, or C? B. 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 No. She didn't play soccer, soccer in high school. She played basketball. Very good. Okay, so we're going to have two, three, four, five. I'm going to give you guys three minutes, and I would like for you to work in pairs, work in pairs, and finish the activity. And then we will work together and we will check the activity as a class. Ready? Let's go. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. Veo que Néstor no ingresó a, a la sesión pequeña. Néstor, usted está trabajando con Gerson Amaya. Hello, hello, Gerson Amaya. Hello, Néstor. Hello. Practice. Are you finished? La tercera, ya sé. Ajá, la tercera. Una pregunta de sí o no. Ajá, de respuesta corta. Ya podemos algo de inglés. Sí. No está muy difícil, no sé si, si
Sí, porque uno se recuerda quizá, vea. Yo creo que más es eso. Saber alguna cosa. Sí, porque cosa. como, ajá, hay, hay cosas que, por ejemplo, eso de los verbos, eh, cuando se ocupa el, el did, el verbo siempre tiene que ir presente. Eso no me recordaba yo. A mí lo que me cuesta son los irregulares. Eso me cuesta. Sí, son bien difíciles. Porque no tiene que recordarlas. Es que sí, cuando carga, hay, cuando hay, ajá. Cambia la estructura de la palabra y ahí es donde me... Uh -huh. Con los regulares no hay problema, solo se les pone ed o... ED, pero sí, son bien difíciles, pero es de aprendérselo, de memorizárselo quizás. Sí. ¿Cuánto tiempo nos dio? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. So now what I would like for you guys to do is we are going to be checking the answers. Let me have one volunteer for number two. Carla Galvez, number two. Choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? Clara Galvez, please answer the question. When did you graduate from college? College in Okay, Herson Amaya. When did you graduate from college? Quítele el silencio a su micrófono. Eh, Clara, no se le escucha a su micrófono. Go ahead, Herson. It's a B. Answer B. Okay. Read the answer, please. Okay, vamos. I graduated from college in 2005. I graduated from college in 2005. Go ahead, uh, Herson, select somebody, please. Herson Amaya. Select somebody, please. Okay, Nestor Martinez, please answer number three. Nestor Martinez, number three. Eh, no se le escucha, Nestor. Se le ve que está hablando, pero no se le escucha. Ok, vamos con Pedro Ramírez. Pedro. Number three, please. Quítale el silencio al micrófono, Pedro. Okay. Um, the number three, choose this question to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. The answer is the option number one. Where did you grow up? 
Very good. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up is correct. Go ahead, Lenny, number four. Lenny, number four. Um, choose the best question to match this response. I began to study English two years ago. Um, the answer uh, will be, um, when did you begin to study English? Very good. When did you begin to study English is correct. Thank you, Lenny. Now let me have Delia, number five, please. Delia, number five. Hey, choose the best response the, to this question. Did you have the pet when you were a child? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Perfect. Yes, I did. Perfect. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Applause. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this information? Does anybody have any questions about this information? Anybody? Questions? Questions? No? No? Okay. Now, what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to write one question with did, one question with when, one question with where, and one question with when, and another question with did. So you're going to write a total of five questions in your notebook. And after that, you are going to practice the conversation. You are going to ask and respond to the questions. Do you understand? Do you understand? Does everybody understand? Yes. Okay. You have five minutes. Five okay. minutes. Ask the questions. I mean, write the questions. You're going to write five questions. Cinco preguntas. La va a escribir en su libreta. Usando when, usando where, usando when, usando did. Cinco preguntas. La va a escribir en su notebook. Y después se las va a hacer a su compañero. Tiene cinco minutos para preparar sus preguntas. When you finish, raise your hand. Cuando termine, levante la mano.
All right, thank you, Amilcar. You are finished. Very good, Amilcar. Thank you, Clara. Thank you. Thank you, Lenny. You're finished. Los demás tienen tres minutos. Okay, Richard is finished. Very good, Richard. Hello, Zulma is finished. Okay. Richard is finished. Lenny, Zuleima is finished. Amilcar is finished. Excellent. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to work in pairs and I would like for you to practice the questions. Un alumno le va a hacer la pregunta y el otro le va a responder y viceversa. Do you understand? Let's go. Hola, Richard. Levantó la mano. Eh, Rodrigo, Richard, Clara, ¿cómo vamos? Eh, Rodrigo, Richard, Clara, ¿no ingresaron a la sesión pequeña? Ok, Clara, la vamos a poner en el 6. Y a Rodrigo lo vamos a poner en el 6 también. Lo vamos a poner juntos. Rodrigo Martínez y Clara Martínez. Van a trabajar juntos. Eh, Rodrigo Martínez, ahí está. Like what I ate today. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, today I, I ate beans and egg with a little um cheese <laughs> oh, with cheese yeah and lemonade oh okay that's good that's good. yeah um where do you go the last summer uh, uh 
uh, to any place. <laughs> not summer, not summer this year, man. Okay. I, you didn't have a summer. Huh? You didn't have a summer? No, no, I didn't. I okay. go here. <laughs> okay. Uh, did, did you drink something today? Well, the, the lemonade. Oh. Yeah, I did, I did lemonade and I, and I went to cook the, the, the lime, lemons. Lemons, uh, yes. And I, and I decided to prepare that juice. Uh, juice, juice. Yeah. 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 Um, when did you create your Zoom account? When? Yeah, when? Um, I don't remember um, the uh, the same day. Uh, the they mentioned in WhatsApp this day that day I I created the the, the count the count of some. I don't remember what day. Um, the last week, but I don't remember that day. What day? Okay. But the last week, yes. Okay. Oh yes. Uh, oh, something like that, like your question. Where did you go to this back this vacation? Where did you go this vacation? Ah. Uh, well, vacation. my last yeah my last vacation I went to the beach, so I I went to celebrate uh, Christmas with oh. some friends. Oh yeah, in the beach. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That it was fun. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Uh, let me the last one. Did you call to enroll in this group? Who? Did you did you call to enroll in this group? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Uh, the colors. Yeah. Well, I, I can say this. Um, only by the teacher. <laughs> only by the teacher. I don't enroll in any call. Okay. Ever. I don't use Zoom. You use Zoom? No, this is the first time. Yeah, well, that that to me, it, it's the same to me. I, I first time soon. Yeah, I didn't have idea how to use it. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> it's, it's it's a problem, but it's it's easy. It's it's a platform. It's easy. I I think. Yeah. Okay, guys, um, I can see that everybody is finished. Uh, at this moment, do you have any questions about the questions? Tienen alguna pregunta sobre las preguntas? O consulta en este momento que quisieran saber? Okay, vamos a cambiar de pareja. We're going to change partners. Change partners. Let's go. Um, yes, but 
I don't learn English because I don't like. It's correct. And so you, the answer is yes, I did. Because oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. You please. Okay. Did you study in last year? Yes. I did what? What did the question? Did you study in last year? Last. Yes, I did. I last last is el año pas el último año uh, anterior, verdad? Uh, uh -huh. I I study my career. This engineer. Okay. When did you graduate from? When what? When did you graduate from? Um. Then. The school. I. Um. I graduate the next month. The university. Okay. It's correct. Okay. When did you begin to study English? What did that mean or begin? I, I don't remember. Empezó a estudiar inglés. Oh. ¿Cuándo? Um, I, I began English in the university, but I need to more practice for the language, for it is necessary for me. Yeah. It's necessary for me. Okay. Did you have a toys when you were a child? A toy? Toys? Who get this? Repeat. Yes, but repeat the, yes. the question. Okay. Did you have a toys when you were a child? Yes, I did. All the shy has toys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Where did you go yesterday? Um, I I went to the, my work. Yesterday. Go in pass is went no. Yes, but when you use this, the oh, verb the, the, not no, but, but in the question is the past in the sentence is no no in the question is present in the sentence is past I don't remember. Where Yeah, yes. In the, apago el micrófono otra vez. Con esto, yo no sé qué pasa con esto. Sí, yes, change the verb, it's correct. Okay, only, only that. In, in, in. <laughs> yeah. What did the, the the profession? You your profession? Market. Oh. Marketing and international business. Oh. And you? In, in engineering. I finished, uh, and then the the next month I. I go to the what? In the I next get, month. Sí, el día del de ju de ju qué? En la en el nicae. Ya casi. Yo el. No nicae. 
¿Y usted? Igual en la única. Mm, en serio, no la he visto. Es ingeniería, no nos juntamos. Uh -huh. Y horarios también. Sí, pero yo me voy a agradar el 3. Yo el 10 le voy a ganar. Va a tener antes el <risa> título. Sí, tres días. Voy a poner a cargar esto porque ya se me está descargando. Está en inglés. ¿What? Estamos practicando inglés. Yes. <risa> And I speak English en you know. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hola. Hola, hola. All right, all right. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers, please. Can I have two volunteers? Okay, Delia. And Nestor Martinez. Okay, teacher, what is that? Delia ask the questions and Nestor respond to the questions. Okay, very good. When did you go to last vacation? The... I... I did. Okay. I did go. Is correct? No. Mm -mm. I went. I I, I went. No. I went. The the sea. I went the sea, or I went to the beach. Oh, okay. I went uh -huh. to the beach. I went. Uh -huh. So right here, we're gonna say, I went to the beach the beach i went to the beach mm -hmm. okay thank you okay now nestor ask the questions and delia respond to the question okay when did you you relate from repeat please when did you grade you graduate from where did you graduate from where did you graduate from um No, no es. De, de, de qué universidad se graduó? Ahí usted va a decir, I. I went. No, I grad. Right. Por ejemplo, en el caso mío, I, gra I graduated. No, I graduated. I graduated. From. From. U of H, University of Houston. University Único. <laughs> okay, así se llama la Universidad Está Único. Good. Hoy no se llama Único, hoy se llama Única es. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, that's let good. me have um, two volunteers. Let me have Lenny. Uh, Lenny, 
And let me have Enrique Ortega. Lenny okay. and Enrique Ortega. Lenny, ask the questions. Enrique Ortega, respond to the questions, please. Did she cook chicken for dinner? Creo que no lo escuchó. Excuse me. Enrique uh, Ortega. Okay. <laughs> Repeat. Sí, no Repito. Yes. Repeat, please. Did she, did she cook chicken for dinner? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. <laughs> Did she cook? Did, did she cook chicken for dinner? Me imagino que está hablando de su mamá o de su esposa. Okay. Did she cook? Did she cook chicken for dinner? Ah, ahí va a responder usted, yes, she did, uh -huh. yes. o oh, no. No, she no, didn't. no, yes. she didn't. Uh -huh, like that. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, now Enrique asked the question and Lenny respond to the question. Okay. Do I can hear. Uh, repeat, please. Okay, I think he has problems with the internet. Se le escucha como cortado. Tal vez el internet está un poco lento. Eh, le vamos a pedir a, um, vamos a ver, Rodrigo Martinez. Hágale la pregunta a usted. Okay. Uh, did he play soccer in high school? Did he play soccer in high school? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. No, he didn't or yes, he did. All right. Ahora quiero un voluntario que le quiera hacer una pregunta a Mr. Santos. Volunteer, ask the question to Mr. Santos. Volunteer, ask the question to Mr. Santos, please. Volunteer, ask the question to Mr. Santos. Valiente. Okay, Delia, ask Mr. Santos the question. Did you take dance classes? Yes, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yes, yes, I I took dance classes when I was a little boy. Uh, I lived in Houston, Texas, and uh, my family is Catholic. So we used to do Primera Comunión, First Communion. Uh, we used to do the wedding. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, we used to do the quinceañera. Mis quince años. Mis quince años. So the, the, uh, they always used to say, hey, I want Ruben to be a chambelan in my wedding. <laughs> I want Ruben to be chambelan in my quinceañera. So I learned to do balls. Uh, cumbias, uh, whenever we did the choreography uh, for the show. Uh, then when I turned uh, 15, I was in high school. And in high school in Houston, I was in the dance crew. Uh, we used to break dance. So I, I enjoyed dancing. 
but now I am Christian. So now I don't practice uh, this anymore because I know Jesus doesn't like that. So that's in my past. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, guys, time's up. We finish. See you tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. Bye. See you.